I want to issue a partial apology to my good brother Tyrese, who I'm sure I'll speak with at some point in the near future. But I want to apologize to my brother Tyrese because I assumed that my Instagram community was being completely transparent and honest with me last evening. I assumed that my Instagram community was being completely transparent and honest with me last evening. I assumed that my Instagram community was being completely transparent and honest with me last evening when they said Tyrese said he wished to be a Latino. Although the good brother Tyrese Gibson did say he wished to be a Latino, it was put in perspective by some more honest members of my Instagram community who said he was referring to the closeness of the community, the bond that they have, the spirit of collectivism and oneness that they practice. It wasn't that he just wanted to be a Latino. He wanted to enjoy and experience the closeness and the oneness and the cultural solidarity of the Latino community. That's a little bit different than you guys telling me that he simply said he wanted to be a Latino. We have to stop exaggerating what other Africans say. We have to stop uh, distorting in manipulating the words that come out of the mouths of our brothers and sisters. He didn't simply say he wanted to be a Latino. He said he wanted to experience, and I'm paraphrasing, he basically said he wanted to experience the closeness, the oneness, the solidarity, and the cultural connectivity of the Latino community. That's completely different from simply saying you want to be a Latino. And as someone who often gets my words misconstrued, exaggerated, and manipulated by the public, both Negro, Pian, and Neanderthal alike. I don't want to do the same thing to my brother as what has been done to me. So shout out to my brother Tyrese. You know, he's a real brother, so, you know, he's not concerned about that. But I need y'all to be a little bit more honest. So I know when y'all give me reports when I'm live now, I can't really assume you're telling me the whole truth because nobody put it in context with their comments last evening. Now, don't get me wrong. I still don't think it was appropriate for Brother Tyrese to say that. That's why it's a partial apology, because I still don't think it was appropriate for Brother Tyrese to say that. That's why it's a partial apology. OK, because none of us should be glorifying and glamorizing other cultures when the very aspect of their culture that we're glorifying and glamorizing, they borrowed from us. Most Latinos are of African heritage. The connectivity and the closeness and the solidarity that Brother Tyrese wants to experience, that's a part of our culture. They got that from us. That is African. So you don't have to want to be somebody else. You don't have to want to imitate somebody else. You don't want to have to imagine yourself as somebody else. All we have to do is rebuild our culture, rebuild our cultural continuity, rebuild our solidarity as African people. Don't go wishing you was Latino. Don't go wishing you was anybody else. Wish only for what you are. We are the original people of the earth. We are the melanin dominant family, the oldest, the greatest and the first. Why would you wish to be another group who sprang from your DNA? They come from our ancestry. We don't come from them. So why are you wishing to be a people who came from your people? We are the original. All we need to do is rebuild who we are. That's why it's a partial apology. Because he still shouldn't have said it. No African should ever say in any way, in any context, by any means, from any angle, any narrative, any perspective, no African should ever wish to be Arab, Latino, East Indian, Native American, Anglo-Saxon, none of that, because we are the mothers and fathers of all of them. The oldest people are the most melanated people, and then the melanin begins to drop off with each subsequent evolution of a new branch of the human family. OK, the chosen people are the melanin dominant people. We are the gods of the planet Earth. And the reason why the most high is so disappointed with the American African and the global African. 
the reason why the most high is so disappointed with us is we are literally imitating people we created we are literally wishing to be people who came from us how retarded is that how sick and delusional is that to want to be somebody who came from you to want to imitate the culture of a people whose culture was borrowed from yours ridiculous absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous i want to say good morning to my savannah georgia africans i want to say good morning good garvey day happy to be nappy to all my savannah georgia africans i want to say good garvey day happy black history month happy to be nappy morning to all my natural head africans happy to be nappy morning we're all my happy to be nappy sisters that means natural so I don't want my mixed race Africans to get your panties in a bunch because I said nappy. If you're natural, you still qualify as nappy. <clears throat> Even if your hair isn't nappy, long as it's natural, you qualify as nappy. Let's not get into an intellectual masturbation over the adjectives that we use. This is not my language. I'm not an Englishman. I speak English because the English came and stole my ancestors and brought them here to Savannah, Georgia to be slaves. So we're not going to intellectually masturbate European vernacular, adjectives, proverbs, and nouns. We're not going to do that. But good morning to my happy to be nappy family. My happy to be nappy family is that branch of the global African family who are proud enough and strong enough to wear their hair in its natural organic fashion. In its natural organic state. So my happy to be nappy family are all the brothers and sisters who have not permed, curled, processed, or European hair color dyed their hair. Okay? If you dyed your hair black, I ain't got no problem with that because that's African. Okay? But if you brunette, light brown, and blonde, and that's not your natural hair color. <coughs> I need some water. Ah, it's a good Savannah day. We got the second annual Gullah Geechee Grand African Ball tonight at the Dr. Priscilla Thomas Annex 460 MLK Junior Boulevard. I'm not allowed to cough. You Negroes want to intellectually masturbate everything that I do. I can't even cough without you Negroes intellectually masturbating my behavior. What's wrong with you Africans? Savannah, Georgia, what's wrong with these Africans? I need me some soul food breakfast today. I need some shrimp and grits. I need some salmon patties. Where can I go to get some deviled eggs, some freshly squeezed orange juice? Savannah Africans, where's the best soul food restaurant? Savannah, Georgia, I'm in your town. Where's the best soul food restaurant? Savannah, Georgia, please let me know. Where's the best place to get some African soul food? Where's the best place to get some African soul food in Savannah, Georgia? Can somebody please answer the King Kong? Where's the best place to get some African soul food this morning in Savannah, Georgia? Oh, yes. Charleston Africans, hold on. I see y'all March the 31st. Charleston Africans, I will see you on March the 31st. Charleston, South Carolina, I will see you March 31st. My first visit since the great tragedy at the AME Church in Charleston when that Caucasian criminal Dylan Roof assassinated nine of our African brothers and sisters and now ancestors including six mothers so i'll be back in charleston on the 31st of march but right now we're dealing with savannah georgia savannah georgia where's the best soul food at 215-989-9858 where's the best soul food text me the soul food screenshot the restaurant and the address i'm in the mood for some old school old-fashioned antebellum colonial good old cooking of our ancestors i'm invoking the ancestors who were enslaved in savannah i'm invoking all my ancestors who were enslaved in savannah stonecrest georgia i will see you tomorrow at the black wall street market god willing stonecrest georgia i will see you tomorrow at the black wall street market oh yes 11 to 7 king kong speaks at three. Oh yes Atlanta, you better pull up, show up, and show out. 
But right now, I needs me some deviled eggs. I needs me a nice omelet, some shrimp and grits. Where can I get me some? Two Chefs Gullah Geechee Restaurant. Is that in Savannah, my brother? Is that in Savannah, my brother? Two Chefs Gullah Geechee Restaurant. Is that in Savannah? Okay. Since y'all want to play games with me, I'm coming to one of the queen's house for breakfast. My single African queens of Savannah, can I come get some breakfast from your home? My single African queens of Savannah, can I come get some breakfast from your home? I'm coming over. I'm making a house call for breakfast. We're not going to be naughty, ladies. We're going to keep this a buck. I just want to come and eat and leave. Can I come eat and leave? I just want to come eat and leave. No Cinnabons are on the menu in Savannah this morning. No Cinnabons are on the menu in Savannah this morning. Oh, yeah. No Cinnabons are on the menu in Savannah this morning. No Cinnabons are on the menu. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never. Stop lying on my brother Tyrese. Y'all have to stop manipulating people's comments out of context, brothers and sisters. Let me say this. I talked about my alien encounter when I used to live in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Just because I brought up that alien encounter, I don't want you Negroes to start getting distracted with alien conversations because the aliens ain't coming to help us overthrow white supremacy. Uh-oh, is it time for melanin drip? I think it's time for melanin drip. Let's take a minute to acknowledge the son of the sun. Let's take a minute to acknowledge the son of the sun. It's time for melanin drip. Dickle, my father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Oh, yes. In the diaspora as it is done in Africa. Oh, yes. I'm just going for a stroll through Savannah. Can I take a walk through Savannah, brothers and sisters? Can I take an African walk through the streets of Savannah, Georgia? But listen, I don't want y'all getting distracted with all this alien talk. Because that's nothing but a distraction and a diversion. Until the aliens show up and tell us they're going to help us fight for African liberation, it's a useless conversation. Yes, I believe in parallel worlds. Yes, I believe that there's other species and creatures we don't know about. Yes, I had an alien encounter when I was seven, eight years old in Jacksonville, North Carolina. But guess what? Them aliens ain't pay my student loans. Them aliens ain't help me raise my children. Them aliens ain't stopping black women from being sex trafficked. Them aliens ain't educating our kids better. Them aliens ain't getting our homeless people off the street. Them aliens ain't changing the school to prison pipeline. So why are we getting distracted about the aliens for? All you Negroes always looking for a reason not to pay attention to your responsibilities. We always looking for a distraction. So let's not, don't put me in the alien group. I'm not in the alien group. I'm not one of them Negroes who sit on the internet all day talking about some damn aliens and ain't solving no problems for black people. We got to be practical and pragmatic. Good morning, sister. We got to be practical and pragmatic. You feel me, Savannah, Georgia? Who coming to the second annual Gullah Geechee Grand African Ball tonight in Savannah? Who coming to the second annual Gullah Geechee Grand African Ball in Savannah tonight? 460 MLK. Boulevard Annex, Dr. Priscilla's, Dr. Priscilla Thomas Annex, 460 MLK Junior Boulevard. Don't distract me with a whole bunch of alien talk. I'm not in the mood for that. I'm just taking a stroll through the streets of Savannah. They got the old school bus stop. They got the old school bus stop over here. Feel like I'm back in a civil rights march with Dr. King. They got the old school bus stop, brothers and sisters. Let me take a seat at the old school bus stop. Let me take a seat at the old school bus stop in Savannah, Georgia. Oh, yes, I'm trying to bond with the ancestors this morning. It's a good Garvey day. It's a great Garvey day. It's a glorious Garvey day. It's a good Garvey day. It's a great Garvey day. It's a glorious Garvey day. I said it's a great Garvey day. It's a good Garvey day. It's a glorious Garvey day. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. 
Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. I need some breakfast. Snow bunny alert. Snow bunny alert. Snow bunny alert. When I see the bunnies, I start running down the street like Jonathan Majors. Whenever you see a snow bunny black man, start running down the street like Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors showed us how to deal with the bunnies. Jonathan Majors showed you how to deal with the bunnies. When they show up, you start running. That way the cops can't say shit. I ran on sight. I run from bunnies on sight. Savannah, Georgia. I was at the water last night. I'm going back to the water. Oh, yes, I love Savannah. It reminds me of Charleston. Charleston and Savannah got the same energy, the same feeling. See a bunny, you run. Tell your son, run on sight. Go to River Street. You can see where they held the slaves. They called it an old legend. I need the address. I need the address. Where the slave quarters at in Savannah? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the relics of the suffering of my ancestors who went through the worst human, the humanization experiment in, in human history. Minneapolis, I'm going to see you Thursday. Six to nine, it has been confirmed. Minneapolis, Minnesota, the prince of Pan-Africanism is coming to the cold of Minneapolis. How cold is it in Minneapolis? How cold is it in Minneapolis? Minneapolis, Minnesota, I will see you Thursday night, six to nine. If you need the flyer, text King Kong. Minneapolis, Minnesota, it has just been confirmed. I will be in the building. Twin City, stand up. Minneapolis, stand up. I will see you Thursday night. This Thursday, February the 8th, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 6 until 9. I was in Belgium a few months ago. Where were you, Fernando? I was in Belgium a few months ago. Shout out to my Belgium Africans. I'm still waiting on my German Africans to send that invitation. I'm still waiting on my Ireland, my Ireland Africans to send that invitation. I'm waiting for my next invitation for my London Africans and my Paris Africans and my Austrian Africans, my Swedish Africans. I heard I'm even going to Russia. The Russian Africans want me in Russia. I got to have a sit down with Putin. I got to have a sit down with Putin in Russia and tell him to stop trying to manipulate African countries. White communism, white capitalism is still white supremacy. White communism, white capitalism is still white supremacy. White communism, white capitalism is still white supremacy, brothers and sisters. Where the slave quarters at, family? Savannah, Georgia slave quarters. I'm looking for that. Where they at? I'm chilling at the bus stop. I'm reliving segregation. They're going to tell me to go to the back of the bus. I'm about to Rosa Parks, these coons. We about to have a Rosa Parks out here. They tell me to go to the back of the bus. Oh, yes. Where the black women at in Savannah? I ain't seen nothing but snow bunnies my whole walk. I ain't seen a sister. I think I saw one sister. I saw one. This must be the snow bunny time of the day. I don't see nothing but bunnies out here. Where the sisters at? Black women don't walk the streets of Savannah? Sisters don't walk the streets of Savannah? Where the black women? I saw one sister. Are y'all not allowed to come outside in Savannah? Are black women not allowed to come out before lunch in Savannah? Because I only seen one sister. I done walked 10 blocks and all I see is snow bunnies. All I see is snow bunnies. So maybe they have a colored curfew. Maybe there's a colored curfew. Black women cannot come outside until lunchtime because I don't see no sisters walking outside. Where the black women at? 
or did they reinstitute slavery in Savannah? Did they reinstitute slavery in Savannah, Georgia? Where are the, I don't see nothing but bunnies out here. This is a damn breakfast with bunnies city. Look, nothing but snow bunnies. Nothing but snow bunnies. Where are the damn black women in Savannah? Oakland, California. Make sure you go register for the Black Parent Boot Camp Saturday, October the 17th. Church of All Faiths, 2100 Fifth Avenue. Go to DrUmarJohnson.com, $50 and pay so you can register all you need to know to protect your children. We need 20 registrants or I will have to reschedule the, camp, the conference. 20 registrants for the Oakland Boot Camp or there will be no boot camp. Sacramento, San Francisco, Antioch, Richmond. Y'all better go register. Thursday is the deadline. Thursday the 15th, if I ain't got 20 registrants, I'm going to pack that training up and take it to another city. Kansas City needs a boot camp. Kansas City, Kansas. Where my Kansas City Africans at? Kansas City needs a boot camp. Go to the south side of Savannah to see the black people. See, nobody told me that. Y'all didn't give me no instructions. This is why we got to get organ. Where the south side of Savannah at? They got any shrimp and grits over there? Because it ain't nothing but bunny hop city in down, down here. 